it was back in 0102, so I think it was January. Um, we we played country round uh, in Melbourne. The first game back after Christmas was always a, a one day match uh, in the country. Um, ours was at Benalla. Head out to Benalla with the, I think it was Nick Jewell and Glenn Layla. Played against Melbourne University. You know, hearing stories of, of country trips gone by, um, which were quite amusing, and, and I was looking forward to it, but still pretty pretty nervous. Um, and then got to the game, full of nerves, a couple of coffees, a couple of beers the night before, but you know that, that didn't really take the edge off. Well, yeah, I'd sort of come from school, so uh, yeah, being picked up uh, the Sturt District Cricket Club, that was it, and Unley Oval in the A's, a bit exciting. Uh, we'd had a family alignment with that club anyhow, so it, was, uh, it wasn't too daunting, but yeah, then to be picked in the A grade and, and that first game, and yeah, it's sad, Un- Unley Oval, we started late, it was interesting, we, we kicked, you know, supposed to start at 11 o'clock, we kicked off at 10 past 11, the reason being, uh, we were waiting for two of Australia's Test Match players, Ashley Mallet and Gary Kozier had, uh, in the Australian side, and they They'd represented the country at this flood relief game and took their time. Not <laughs> took their time getting back to Unley Oval for uh, for my debut. Very rude of them. <laughs> and yeah, but you know, so so you know, to, to be playing your first game of A grade cricket with Test match cricketers was was pretty special. I'll never forget it. You know, I was sort of sitting, just sat down at the uh, kitchen table. I remember my old man was there. I just made my toast. I was a simple breakfast person at that time and. Uh, as a young kid, 16 year old, I had a phone call about 8 o'clock in the morning and um, it was the, the club coach. At the time it was um, uh, Glenn Bishop. Uh, you know, he rang and said, don't, don't head to Salisbury today, you're heading down to uh, university, able to make your A grade debut or first grade debut. And um, I was replacing my mentor at the time, Mark Sorrell, who uh, had, had invested a lot of time in me as a junior coming through the system. So. I was bloody excited to get the call, um, but then I sort of quickly turned to, OK, well, what do I expect? What are they going to expect from me? The first game was actually got a call up against St George after, a, I think, a late injury that uh, Nathan Bracken was at our club and um, he a late withdrawal and uh, played against St George, a pretty stacked St George that were, that were running pretty hot at that stage. Brett Lockyer, Brett Van Dyneson, Scott Thompson, uh, Nathan Pillen uh, and Stewie McGill uh, had an appearance that game. So. Uh, yeah, it was a, a pretty good taste of, of Premier Cricket, uh, and we had uh, Neil Maxwell, Greg Mayle, uh, Greg Hayne. Um, we had uh, Tim O'Sullivan open the batting with, with Maxi Klinger. Um, that, he had the Jerry curls back then, it was a bit of a soul glow look. Um, Michael Foster, who had played state cricket um, and played for Richmond previously um, at three, and, and he, was, he was a very good batter. Uh, Nick Jewell at four. Uh, than myself at five. A name, of course, uh, that, that always springs to mind, uh, Bob Blewett, uh, Greg Blewett's dad. So Bob was uh, captain of, of uh, the side we played against Prospect and, and, um, and Ken Cunningham, Ken KG Cunningham, was captain of Sturt. There was a little bit of apprehension there as I made my way to the ground. I think my old man would probably say that I said two words to him on the way there. And then heading to the ground and, and getting to the ground and seeing so many state players playing on that day was, was something I'll, I'll never forget as well. I think. Um, you know, when I first started, that was something that you really cherished was having the state guys back playing because I think at that time it was just at the back end of a really successful period for South Australia. Um, university had a number of state players, Adam Kimber, Darren Webber, uh, and Paul Wilson as well. We had Shane George at the time playing for us, so that uh, that certainly was an eye opener. And yeah, there was me, a 16 year old kid, just um, yeah, just sort of taking it all in. It was lighter than I was about eight months earlier when I was in England, or six months earlier when I when I cracked 115 kilos. But um, that it was probably that stage where I was making runs. But leading up to that. I realised that I really needed to work a lot harder than what I was working. Ended up with a um, yeah, nice little two for 30 or something like that, so nothing too uh, too scary in game one. And then watch Greg Mayle hit uh, Stewie McGill to all parts of the ground for, a, I think he ended up with about not out 140 or so. Yeah, on day one, uh, but then you know I got 50 and then it was my place. <laughs> I was supposed to, to come in at number five and I, I thought with our batting lineup that I was probably not required. Um, all of a sudden it was six, 6 for 70, chasing 101, um, and yeah, I, I, was, I guess I was real nervous and um, luckily enough I had Johnny Davison down the other end to, to help me out, um, got a few runs away, chipped a couple over the field, um, and I think he finished it off, um, no mucking around, Johnny Davison style, 
um, with his experience and, and got us over the line. Oh, I, I got a lot of advice. Um, yeah, just the length of hair and you know all those sorts of things. Uh, they were fairly firm as to uh, how I should and yeah, should, are you getting changed in the men's rooms and you know those sorts of things. We drove from Benalla. I think it was either to Shep or Wang. Um, we, the boys weren't happy with, um, with the, I guess, probably the pubs in Benalla and, and thought um, Shep or Wang might be a better option. Um, had a great night. It was awesome. You know, you play your first, first living game. My dad came down and watched the game and, and drove back that day, which was awesome. And he, he would have been stoked and um, woke up the, the next morning with, uh, with coffee and sugar sachets all through my ear and my hair. <laughs> it was really interesting for me to see two state teammates go at each other. Um, you know, Shane George and Darren Webber had, um, had some interesting times on the field. I'd never seen anything like it before, you know. Um, Chewy's been thrown and uh, the language was interesting. What can you tell us about your, uh, your body ink? Yeah, well, I've got an addition to that as well. I've got, I've got the state stuff. So um, when we won flags in 03, 04, 04, 05 and 5, 6, there was a couple more before that, but unfortunately I didn't play. I just got, you know, um, the, the club logo and then the years we won. I'll, I'll look back on that now and I, I really, I, I, I'm really thankful for that time. You know, I think it really moulded me as a cricketer. Um, I had Darren Lehman to thank a lot for, for my career at a state level in particular in terms of the way he spoke about the game and mentored me on the game and how to view it. Um, and he was obviously brought through the same system out at Salisbury as well. So from a grounding perspective, to have all those guys available and still passionate about club cricket was uh, yeah, something that's still very clear in my mind. It was great fun and that was the level you played at that time and thankfully I was very fortunate to go on and play a touch high but you know that, that are some of the great memories and for, for so many players uh, at that club uh, I was fortunate to captain a premiership side and you go back through that side and so many of those that was the highest level they played so it, it's a pretty neat experience.